a huge West Ham transfer news update was was uh, put forward from XWHU employee overnight and it's positive for the Hammers to kick off what is going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, a busy transfer window for us in Claret and Blue. Before we get into it, though, drop a like on the video, subscribe to West Down Official if you are new to cut our channel, sponsor us SRM Carvinson by clicking that link in, in, the, in the description down below. Plenty to get through, so without further ado, let's get into it. So X put it on his Patreon last night, but it's all over Twitter, so I don't think there's any harm in talking about so we're going to go through most of the main parts of it and talk a little bit um, about everything else involved. And so pretty much what people are putting on Twitter on a whole is that we're, 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 going, to, we're going to talk about James Ward-Prowse. We're going to talk about Lingard and players like Suchek and Saeed Ben Rama. Let's start with Thomas Suchek. Um, and that's kind of been the main, like, not a, I say it's like 60 40 split down the middle of the fan base. 60% know what are people saying? We need to keep him 40. Like, yeah, he's he's been pretty rubbish this season. Let's listen to offers for him. And that's what, and that, and that is, according to X, what David Moyes has done. Um, West Ham United are listening to offers to Thomas Suchet. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to sell him. That just means if an offer comes in, we're not going to immediately just ignore it. You know, we're going to look at it and think, is that what we want for him or not? And then we speak to Suchek and we go forward. And I think this links into, and, and, and many people have made this link on Twitter overnight, is that what Vladimir Sufal put on his uh, Twitter page at the end of the season, he said on his Twitter post, hopefully see you next season. Maybe this threads all into this. Maybe the Czechs are aware that they could be um, shifted out of the door this summer to some people's absolute disgust, I think, because some people are like, what an amazing season he had in his first season. Yes, this season has been a bit below par, but we cannot get rid of him. I don't know where I am, to be honest with you, because I don't think I'm at the extreme of we need to get rid of him. But if a, if a better replacement came in, I think I'd be happy, if I'm honest with you. And I know we're going to lose that aerial threat, but... He hasn't really been scoring many goals from set pieces this season, has he? He has been getting up into the box, but he hasn't been scoring many set pieces when he's been up there. And yes, I know you're going to say, what about when we miss Suchek and Dawson for that Arsenal game? But I think I think Dawson gets his head on most of them, um, most of them crosses, if I'm honest with you. And fingers crossed we're going to keep Dawson and, he doesn't, and, and he's happy and he doesn't want to go back up north. And I think we've got the aerial threat there with Dawson and uh, Zuma, fingers crossed, with everything that's going on with him and the court trial at the moment. But, yeah, um, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm just going to wait and see what happens with this and then make a big comment about it because this is just a starting point by, you know, setting the um, setting the table straight of what West Ham are thinking of Thomas Suchet this summer. Um, but we are going to have to let go a lot of players this year, just off the top of my head. Obviously, Noble, I think Crow, Masuaku, maybe Randolph, um, Yarmolenko, Fredericks, Masuaku, I don't know if, I, if, I've, if I've mentioned him. That's players that we're probably going to let go this year. If we're going to let go other players, that means we're just, that means we're just going to have to get even more players back in. And I know that adds money to the transfer budget, but it makes David Moyes' um, job even harder, considering... To be fair, with Thomas Suchek, it's a spot where you could say he he could he could fulfilly keep next season. But if we're at that stage where David Moyes feels that his squad is good enough and he wants to take the squad we've got right now and take parts out and make them even better, I'm all for that. If we get the basics right, we get a left back, we get a couple of centre backs, we get a couple of strikers, probably a central midfielder, an attacking midfielder, you know. We need to get those foundations down first before we start ripping up our first 11 and making it better. But hopefully that's a stage we will be come, I don't know, start of August, um, that we've that we've done all of that in July and then we can start making our squad better. But moving on with what X said um, and talking about Saeed Benrahma, which is also um, which is also. Put some controversy into West Ham Twitter, um, and it's and it's, it's exactly the same as the Suchek one. West Ham, you know, they're going to listen to offers from Saeed for Saeed Ben Rama. Um, I think it's kind of the same thing, but more people have accepted that. Yeah, it's probably you know I could understand why we'd let him go. You know, the first season for many of these players is a write off, and it pretty much was for Saeed Ben Rama. That's why I'm giving Nikola Vlasic another season. Let's let's see what he can do next season. Let's not sell him. 
Let's see what he can do next season. We've given Saeed Ben Rama this second season. Yes, he scored eight goals or whatever, but his performances have been well below scratch. Probably seven times out of ten this season. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna average it out, and all the Ben Rama lovers can't really say, you know, they can't they can't defend him that much that he's played well in most of the games he's played this season because he really hasn't, and you'd be lying if you said so. You know, many of the times this season he couldn't cross a road. You know. He's not he's not making the impact. But then I'd say about five games this season, he has made the impact. Is that enough for us to keep him so he could be an impact sub player on the bench? But does he want to be a player that sits on the bench? But that's all but that's but that's but that's all he deserves to be at the moment for West for West Ham because of how poorly he's played this season, in my opinion. But if we listen to offers, I think we've got to get above what we paid for him somehow, some way. Was it £22 million or something? Let's push 25 30 Will he go back to Brentford? I don't know. But I can understand why West Ham are listening to offers for Saeed Ben Rama. Let's talk, let's talk about incomings then. And we'll start down on the south coast. Mr Andy Miles will love this one. James Will Prowse. Oh, this is going to be a good window. I can just feel it. And the official words are, West Ham United are about to put an offer in uh, for... James Ward-Prowse and perhaps a replacement if we are listening and going to sell Thomas Suchek this season. But if you're just thinking, if you look at it though, if we're going to play three in midfield next year, you could have Rice, Suchek and Ward-Prowse. Ward-Prowse kind of playing at the top of a triangle and maybe, or maybe two at the top of that triangle, one sitting. Maybe Rice and Suchek can alternate which one uh, sits in front of the back of the forum, one progresses forward to help James Ward-Prowse. For free kicks, for corners, we can then, you know, put the put the Creswell uh, alibi to bed. Uh, in my opinion, of oh, he's good at set pieces. He's good at he's good at free kicks because I don't think Creswell's good enough for West Ham. And I'm just putting that bluntly. He's a Championship player nowadays, I think, and I don't think he should be our starting left back next season if we want to be staying in these European spots because he's quite frankly not good enough. Perhaps he could get away for another season being a backup left back, but no way our starting left back in a in team that are in the Europa League, um, European Conference League, sorry. In my personal opinion, he could do that. The free kicks, the corners, all of that. He's got that play. I think he's a player that will be very well suited to David Moyes' system and what a player he will be um, if he comes to the London Stadium. But to get him away from St Mary's is going to be a very hard job considering I think he signed a new contract and he's and he's pretty committed to uh the southwest side so it's going to be difficult to get him away I think we're talking in a 40 60 million pound area if we can get 40 for Suchek if we're going to do a straight swap then I think that's okay but if we're going to go 40 60 and keep Suchek I'm going to go you know what fair play Fair play if we get the players we need in the other areas because that's showing intent. You know, we've talked about it pretty much since the end of the January transfer window. Let's get these players in that shows intent to other teams, you know, not signing these people from, you know, God knows what country. Let's sign proven Premier League players where clubs are going to go, you know what, that's a good sign in. They mean that. And that's exactly what James Ward Prowse is. And I will be absolutely chuffed to bits if we can sign uh, James Ward Prowse this summer. And the final player discussed was Jesse Lingard. It continues this summer, it looks like. And pretty much we are um, we are looking to make a bid uh, for Jesse Lingard. Um, yeah, um, many people, many people have um, have said, no, the ship, so no thanks, let's move on. But many people have said this guy could still bring a lot to West Ham. And if and he could be that kind of attacking midfielder um, that we need this summer. Because if we can get him for free, which we're going to, if we can, then that means that's no none, none of the transfer budget spent on that attacking midfield. We could just take that off the list with no, with no expense spared and we can focus on the other areas, which is fantastic. Because we know what Jesse Lingard's going to bring. He did it for us for half a season uh, in the 2021, I think it was. So let's bring him back, I say. Let's bring him back. But also, um, I want to discuss uh, the, the striker options and we're going to go down to the South Coast once again in just a second. But we're going to start off in the Midlands with Aston Villa. You know who it is, Ollie Watkins. Um, XWSU employers also said David Moyes is keen to bring Ollie Watkins to London this summer. The Hammers showed a small amount of interest in the England International back in January, but no intentions were made. Now, Fabrizio Romano um, has said just yesterday 
I asked yesterday morning and the answer I received was that Stephen Gerrard is now fighting to keep Ollie Watkins at the club. There are many clubs interested like West Ham. That's really positive because I'd be all over bringing Ollie Watkins to West Ham. I think he'd be he'd fit into the hard working system. I think he'd score us goals with the players he's got around him. Yeah. People say, look at his stats this year, they're not very good, but he's had a very mixed bag around him this year, you know. Players haven't been performing very well. They've been very up and down performances from the likes of Leon Bailey. Um um, what's the guy? Buendia, all of these different players. Coutinho's been hot and cold, you know. I think for West Ham, you're going to get the quality from Bowen coming from the midfield from Rice. And it's another England international that, you know, Declan Rice can go to the England England camp with, I think, if he if he, if he he gets into the squads. And I like him. I really do like Ollie Watkins. And I think he'd be a superb, superb, superb player to bring to West Ham. If we put him, James Will Prowse and Ollie Watkins, I want more, but I'd be absolutely chuffed. And Lingard, those three, we're on to a winner. But also, um, X has said Brozier is another target, as we've covered many times before. So maybe if this doesn't work, we will go down um, and also inquire about Armando Brozier. Um, but just but just, but just to go back to um, the Suche situation, somebody commented on a Twitter post and said, X, can you confirm if Moyes has fallen out with Suche or something? How come he's happy for him to go now? X replied, Contract talks have not progressed, not a falling out as such, but apparently prepared to listen to offers. We are only at the end of May and the transfers are hotting up. And that's a big idea for the vision we are going for this summer in our transfer window. And it looks very flipping good, in my opinion. I'm buzzing with that. Hopefully we can act on it when the transfer windows open, when the transfer windows opens. Get a couple of players in in the first week and happy days. That's it for me. That's the West Ham Transfer News Show right here on West Ham Unofficial. We've talked about Lingard, um, Watkins, War Prowse, Suchek, Ben Rama, Brozier. And we haven't even discussed Nayef Ogard either, but we'll do that in another vid- do that in another video. That's it for me. Oh, it's early. It's early in the morning, but I'll catch you soon. Right here on West Ham Unofficial. Bye bye.